guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 9 of season 2 of Fruits Basket. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. really tense fucking episode and I have been waiting for this ever since like I woke up and I am ready for this. I think I am but it's the same time I'm not like I am. It was one o'clock and I'm like where the hell is this episode? I've been on my phone playing a rhythm game for like almost an hour trying to get gems. And then finally, this damn anime pops up, and I'm like, thank God. I'm like, come on, I just want to see this episode and then watch another show that I gotta watch and then end my day, possibly. If I don't feel like doing anything else, you know. Yeah, you gotta go. <laughs> I know, but that's what she wants. I wouldn't say happy, though. <laughs> of course. No.
no. mouth up Then you never want to tell a child at that young age, though.
Don't do anything, you will regret it. Questions. Damn her. And it was gonna turn water on. Are you that much of an asshole?
I can't. Oh my god, this was such a good episode. Thank you for making me cry in like the first, what, 10 minutes of this episode? I mean, Jesus, I wasn't expecting that, but hey, thank you anyway. Um, I liked it. I liked it for what it was. It was a really good episode. But the biggest thing I didn't like about the fact is going into the Kills Pass and I'm guessing his father or his uncle or whoever telling him that, you know, his mom committed suicide. He's like, what, maybe five, six, seven, or eight? Who says that to a little kid about their parent? I mean, like, at least 
make up something. I get the fact that you, you know, with kids, you don't want to tell them the truth about everything because of the fact that you do want to keep them in that bubble and protected and everything to the fact that they don't need to know certain adult things until they're either of age of like, I, I'd say like 14, 15 or 16. Maybe that's when you tell them, but not at like, you know, what, eight, five, six, seven, eight year old. Like, do you know what that would do to a child? Like, it's the, 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 the done to this boy ever since. It's, it's, oh my god, and it's just the fact that he's like finally proclaimed his love for Toru. Like, uh, I can't because it's just like <laughs> the feeling. I'm like, oh my god, he's just so sweet. And, and once again, I hate Akito. Like, oh my god, no matter how many times she's on screen and the ish that she says to anyone in this one family i just can't stand her like oh god it's another week of just feeling bad for her i pity her still today <laughs> still today on june 1st 2020 until we get to that last season and we finally get a little more backstory on akito and why she is the way she is i mean yeah i can't say that because i can't say certain things because of spoilers and you know when we get there is when we get there but like still to this day i just pity her so freaking much as much as i hate her at the same time She's, I wouldn't say she's my least, well, okay, as of, like, this point, she is my least favorite character, but only because of the way she is now. Later on in the series, she's, like, not as much as my least favorite character, but just the way that she acts now, I just, I despise it. She's up on that list of people, of anime characters, any character from a TV show, whatever, book that I, like, really despise so much that if, if I had a chance to just, like, kill someone, she on that list no matter what first. This part of her death, the second half, but, you know. But it was good. I mean, I hate the fact that, you know, she just beats on him. And that when she touches him, she feels disgusted and everything. I get that. But, oh my god, like, girl. I want to put the middle finger up so I, I get the fact. Like, well, oh, God, she just, she, oh God, how do I say this? Like, she puts herself on a higher pedestal. She's like, okay, because of the fact, mm, no, I can't even talk about that yet. All I'm going to say is she puts herself on a higher pedestal than everybody else because of reasons that we can't talk about yet. But, um. And the fact this like, oh god, like no matter who it is, she always beats them down, and I hate that about her. Like, uh I just I need her to go, just go, go, vomit us, get out. That's all I want. Go, goodbye. That's mm -hmm. sayonara. I still the visa, baby. Go. That's all. Get out. Let everybody be happy. Get out. You ain't gotta leave, but you gotta get the haircut out of here. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 9 of season 2 of Fruits Basket. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Monday for episode 10. Bye, guys.